Hello, and uh, welcome to the channel. And this is just going to be a quick uh, video. Uh, so, I'm just going to go over uh, a few details over this uh, Wonder Woman figure, the um, the last night on Earth um, Wonder Woman. Uh, she is, of course, the one that features the, um, or that had the mohawk. I uh, talked about her in the uh, 50th video. Um, that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago, you know, about uh, regarding future projects. So, um, I mentioned in that video that I, I was thinking of doing something with her hair, um, maybe sculpting it myself, but um, a couple of weeks ago, I um, I purchased the um, the figures that you see behind her, the, um, the Masterverse line of... Uh, Masters of the Universe, you know, the He-Man, the Skeletor, and the Evil Inn. And that Evil Inn, uh, as some of you may know, uh, but for those who don't, uh, she comes with an alternate head that has a um, uh, her hair let down, um, which is right here. So this is the, uh, the alternate head already with the hair removed, of course, because it's already on the uh, Wonder Woman figure. Uh, just a word of caution for those who are trying to attempt a similar swap or just a, a swap in general. The plastic used on the Masterverse figures is very different than the one that's, you know, say uh, that's on the McFarlane figures. The, well, I use the, the boiling water method to try and remove the, uh, the hair piece from this uh, head sculpt. Um, the, the plastic used for the Masterverse figures is a little, uh, less forgiving, you could say. Once you dunk it in the boiling water, you have less time to do anything with it as it resets pretty quickly. Uh, for instance, the McFarlane figures get really soft, uh, real quick and also stay malleable for a longer time. The Masterverse the plastic on these figures uh, resets a little quicker so you have less time to work with it um, and uh, you know so if you're trying to jab things inside of the, the head sculpt like I did to try and separate it from the uh, from the head try and separate the hair uh, you know you gotta work fast and then you gotta keep repeating dunking the head into the uh, the boiling water to soften it up to try and avoid any damage, uh, and I'll show you in a second uh, what I mean. Uh, so this is the um, the mohawk that was removed from the um, the Wonder Woman figure. This came out pretty quick. It only took one dunking in the water for like a minute or so, boiling water, and then just jabbed a um, flathead screwdriver and just uh, ripped everything else out. You know, didn't take much effort. But uh, to remove the hair piece on from the uh, the uh, evil Lynn uh, head sculpt, that was a little different. Uh, but it was, like I said, a um, uh, a difficult process. It took me about an hour to totally finish removing the um, the hair piece from the head sculpt. Um, and I'll show you what transpired during the uh, separation process. So if the camera will focus near her, near the part on her hair. There you go. You can see there's a part there, um, right near the front, right there, uh, that she's paired off so that, that thing super glued and then near this v-shaped cut right here at the top there's a piece that tore, that tore off a little bit uh, this is just a nick uh, that I did with the dremel tool uh, because I was dremeling out you know from underneath to you know get the right shape in order to fit it on the, uh, the Wonder Woman I also had to do a lot of uh, reshaping on the Wonder Woman head. Uh, hers was a little more like an egg shape or like a, 
light bulb, as you could say. So I had to do a lot of trimming at the top and at the back. I also removed the, for those who remember in the video, she had like a stump in the back, which was where her plastic tape would be held on to, partially, as well as at the front. Um, but, um, but yeah, overall, the uh, after doing all of the reshaping, the, um, the hair piece just came right there perfectly. Um, I just had to paint it black and work on the rest of the seizure, uh, covering up that uh, gapage right there on, on the front of her clavicle, clean up the back, um, and um, and see what else I might do to the seizure, but this project is almost 50% done. Um, I'm thinking of using a hot glue uh, method to attach the hair to the, uh, to the head. I don't have a hot glue gun, so I'm thinking of acquiring one pretty soon, because uh, I'm also thinking it's going to be a useful tool for future projects, um, like um, the Dremel tool that I got uh, right there. Um, you know, it's been useful for other things in the past, and of course in this instance I used it as well for the um, Dremeling out of parts there on Wonder Woman. So. Um, so there's that. And of course, you have the uh, Masterverse figures here behind her. Uh, you know, those will probably be uh, done up in the future. You know, all of these have some potential for either uh, you know, modifying or, uh, you know, just repainting, retouching. Um, and uh, we'll see about those in the future. But for right now, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update here on the uh, Wonder Woman uh, project. And um, hopefully it'll get featured in a video uh, yeah, pretty soon. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll check you guys out in the next one.